Hello, everyone. Thanks for checking out this special episode of Really Dicey. This is Manny. And I'm Matt. And today we're talking about the One Ring Starter Set by Free League Publishing. Uh, this is the second edition of the One Ring series. We have a video of an unboxing that we did. And uh, unfortunately, we did audio for that and it didn't turn out as well. <laughs> you know, so but you get to see the video and you get to hear us uh talk about it one first thing i should i should say real fast is that nothing is wasted you know in the back of the box they have a almost like a gm screen it has uh degrees of success die roll modifiers conditions uh resting useful items distinctive features and of course some place to hide your dice <laughs> i do like the dice a lot also i thought that yep. was yep yeah yeah the dice are nice oh, and of course uh, there were some cards uh, for equipment and conditions um, and stances, which are all explained in the system, and an absolutely beautiful map of the Shire, which was yes. great. A, a double-sided map of the Shire, I believe. Yes, those are the cards. Yeah, these are a little blown out because of the light, but I'll show images of it. Yeah, so on one side, you have a, a nice illustration of the piece of equipment on the back you have all the game stats and stuff so that's those are always nice props to have the table besides the 30 warrior cards for weapons and armor that we just showed there are also six double-sided journey roll and combat stance cards as mentioned before we there are two d12 feet dice and six d6 success dice the game has eight pre-generated characters some are pretty famous characters like bilbo baggins one side you have all the stats and the other side you get kind of a backstory and personality for the characters. Now, what's interesting is that all the pre-generated characters in this, in this starter set are all hobbits. In fact, the whole scenario is it deals with hobbits, um, and, uh, the adventure and everything, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. In this box head also, there's a huge full color double-sided map showing the Shire and Eriador. There's also a 24-page volume of condensed rules. There's a 52-page companion covering the entire Shire and a 32-page mini book containing five exciting adventures to play. And again, uh, this this box that has no way to space at the at the other side of the box inside, there's uh, also another map, a miniature version of the map of the Shire. Let's talk about the One Ring uh, rules booklet, 24 page rules booklet that you get in the starter set. Um, it's a really great streamlined, uh, easy to understand rule set. If you play the One Ring first edition, um, this will be no problem to you whatsoever. If you play the fifth edition Middle Earth books from Cubicle 7, um, again, this is not 5e, so you may have some uh, tiny difficulty in the beginning understanding it, but honestly, if you've played other systems like Palladium GURPS, uh, that this is a much easier rule system to understand. Again, you just have a, a, a target number and you roll D6s and a D12. And if you beat your target number or equal it, you succeed. If you wanna hear us go over more about the rule set in the One Ring Second Edition, check out our core rule book review, which I'll have a link for it in the description below. The double-sided map of the Shire that they have here uh, is gorgeous. In fact, the, the art for this entire starter set is gorgeous. It's a mix of, of, of full color art and line art. The One Ring, The Adventures booklet contains five adventures, which we'll talk in a bit about the tone of it. However, my favorite thing of this whole starter set is the One Ring, The Shire booklet. It is 52 pages and it has, again, everything you want to know about The Shire it has maps, NPCs, details about uh, everything within it, the geography, charts and random encounters in your journey between uh, each part of the Shire and of course adventure hooks. I agree that was my favorite part of, of the uh, box set that was just delightful. I am uh, you know obviously a huge uh, Tolkien fan and I love the Hobbit in the Shire and uh, more information about the Shire it's great. So I thought that this box set was a great introduction to role playing uh, starting from the gr very ground um, you know ground floor someone who doesn't know anything so it explains the concepts of the lore master which is the game master and setting scenes and the players and all that sort of thing 
Uh, I also thought it was a fantastic introduction to the system, which is a, a nice uh, thematic system. Um, and it very nicely explained in the book. Um, one thing I particularly liked about the system is that it was tied mechanically to the themes of Tolkien's writing. Uh, for instance, your character's attributes are strength, which is basically all your physical stats, heart, which is your courage and, and charisma and that sort of thing, and wits, um, which is your, your intelligence and your, your wits and things like that. So I thought um, the, the inclusion of the heart statistic um, you know, really, like I said, thematically tied in with uh, Tolkien's works, where courage is really important, hope is really important. Um, and on the same lines, um, your health is kind of divided between your endurance, which is a, a physical tracker of, of not only wounds, but your fatigue and that sort of thing, and hope, which is a tracker for your your spiritual endurance and how you can go on. And, and uh, reading that just made me think of, you know, Sam and Frodo in, in Mordor, um, where the book talks about them losing hope and finding the courage that can continue. And it wasn't all simply that they were running out of hit points. So I really liked um, how the system tied into the themes of the books. Uh, I really like that sort of thing, yeah. Um, as I said, I, I absolutely loved everything about the Shire, you know. Um, what, beyond the Shire, what were your favorite parts, Benny? What do you think? Well, I, I was surprised by the character sheets, the pre-generated character sheets that they had in here. Um, they're all all hobbits. Um, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it really, in a sense, it, this is a starter set. Like it's not, if you're buying this expecting like to be like the core book, we're gonna fight the, the ring wraiths and, um, or fight a dragon or anything like that, you, you might be disappointed. However, if you look for something that they'll ease players into the, 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 the world of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, uh, I think it does this beautifully. Um, if, if you ever, want to know what being at the Shire is like, the adventures in here will let you do, will, will help make that, make that happen. Matt, you know me, I tend to like more like grimdark, more uh, tougher, scarier games, you know? Uh, um, yes, yes, it's, uh, it's, it's delightful, really. Um, that kind of ties in with my only um, complaint about, about the uh, starter set. And it's not really a complaint, but, in a way, this feels less like an introduction to the One Ring role-playing game, and more like the Shire source book. I'm 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 worried that you know if someone's bought the One Ring game and they've read the rules, or even if they just buy the starter set and they go to their friends and say, "Hey, I've got a Middle Earth game, and and we're gonna run some adventures, and we're gonna try out the starter set, and we're gonna play it," um, and they all get to the get to the table and they've they've read the novels and they've seen the movies and they're thinking oh, i want to play an elf or a dwarf or they're thinking about fighting trolls and orcs and things and um and, and you sit them all down and and you give them the characters which as you said are all hobbits and you introduce them to the adventures uh which are really just kind of eventful walks through the shire to be honest <laughs> um I'm worried that they might seem kind of disappointing. Uh, you know, this this certainly isn't the Lord of the Rings, and it's not even the Hobbit. This is really kind of like the beginning of the Hobbit, where Bilbo's late to an appointment and forgets his handkerchief. <laughs> I mean, the the stakes and this the starter step adventures are really low. <laughs> In fact. The starter set does not include a death mechanic that is introduced later in the main game. Uh, and, the, and, and the first adventure in the starter set, you have to break into a museum um, to, to steal something for Bilbo. 
And uh, you keep hearing about this dog in the museum. And so you're worried, oh, well, there's a dog. We've got to be careful, sneak around the dog. Well, when you get in there, the dog is this little tiny yappy dog. <laughs> it's not even, it's not even mean. It's just really friendly and it yaps friend and you know, uh, that's how it, it's excited. It's excited yapping, excited friendly yapping. And you're thinking, oh no, well, this might wake up the sheriffs and you know, and the guards and raise an alarm. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> the only thing it does is kind of scare the player characters into thinking that maybe it will. So, I mean, like I said, it it's delightful, but I'm not quite sure it's the best introduction to the one ring role playing game, which is all about holding back the shadow and, and all that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally agree with you. The, the tone of, of the core book and the starter set are different. Um, uh, the starter set is a, is a, I think it's a great, uh, the adventures in the starter set is a, a great way to get like young kids to play for the first time, or maybe introduce to, uh, to, to people that want to know about Lord of the Rings, but you want to have the feel of Lord of the Rings. Um, uh, just a little bit like a taste of it. You know, so that they don't feel overwhelmed, because uh, I think we, I think it's very important that people that are playing the One Ring understand that this is not D and D. This is a very different type of game. This is not a hack and slash game. This is a, a lot of it's like a, they, they, yeah, there's social interaction, there's mystery, there's journeying, there's, uh, I mean, fellowship <laughs> is an important part of the game. Yeah. That I just wanted to add a quick clarification. These adventures are made for players of all ages, children and adults, and the stories do reflect the feel of The Hobbit. So yes, there are some adventures that start light, like chasing off a stubborn owl out of a barn, or dealing with weather conditions, or delivering a letter. But it can take sudden turns of danger when you face wolves, orcs, and maybe a troll. Um, you know, so it I, for the for me personally, the the box set, I love the dice. Of the maps. Uh, uh, this is another great thing that they have is that uh, a little small thing to remind players what actions they can do. Um, right. uh, again, uh, some people have complained. Oh, if you don't like the One Ring first edition rule set, you're not going to probably not like this rule set. It's just an updated version of that. Uh, for those of you who like the Five E Adventures of Middle Earth version, you're just going to have to wait till Free League publishes um, uh, uh, publish that on their own time. Um, but yeah, that's what I would like about it. I, I, the maps, the, and all the tools and the dice that you can use uh, for your game. Yeah. And it's a great introduction to the system. It really helps you learn the system if you're trying to do that. Yeah. I, I would just use the Shire source book and then the adventures again, it's great if, if you want that feel, but I, 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 I think, you know, what it is you and I have played the middle earth role playing. We play different Middle Earth role-playing game systems throughout yep. the many years we've been playing, the uh, ICE, and, and and from there, so we kind of already know how to create the feel of Lord of the Rings, you know. So I think for us, we don't need the adventure, but it's great to have a source book for that either way. Yes, yes, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yep. Thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. If you tend to find uh, a ring in a pool of water somewhere with your friend. Maybe not today. Leave it, leave it where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, everyone.